Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, for the most part, ES balanced within yesterday's range. And even after the non-farm payroll report, uh, the breakdown simply tagged yesterday's support. And right now, the market continues to balance within a range and our directional bias continues to be neutral and the market can still tip in either direction. So off the open, keep an eye at the 1901 quarter level. That was the overnight low prior to the breakdown that we got on the NFP number. So if the market is holding above 01 quarter, then it tells us that this is a failed breakdown attempt and it would signal a lack of weakness. On the upside, we have resistance at 09 half to 11 half. A breakout above that area would signal buyers gaining control and a break above 13 to 14 half would confirm the buy side in control and that would bring yesterday's high into play at the 2075 to 22 quarter zone. And from there, there would be potential to even go higher, but that's something we'd have to gauge in real time. On the downside, we have initial support, 93.75 to 95.75. That is the area that has already been tested so far in pre-market and found responsive buyers. If we continue to hold below 19.01 quarter, then that would be a sign of weakness. Uh, a breakdown below 93.75 to 95.75 and the 89 to 91 bull bear zone could lead to some sustained liquidation. Uh, you can see there's not really any major support below 89 to 91 until 74 to 77 and um, that's still an area where responsive buyers can be active on first test but if the market is in a breakdown mode or uh, showing excessive weakness and excessive downside momentum then we'll have to be careful on the long side and uh, keep our focus more on short setups but until we get a break below initial support this is still a neutral and balanced market, and uh, we have to treat it that way. And that's why we're going to continue to uh, keep our directional bias as neutral until we actually get a real break of a major zone. So on the downside, that would be initial support and the bull bear zone. On the upside, 09.5 to 11.5 and 13 to 14.5. So how the market resolves this balance is really going to uh, tell us which way the market is really going directional. Until then, it's simply balancing in a range. So off the open, again, keep an eye at 01 quarter. That'll help us establish short-term bias. 09 half to 11 half will also help us establish bias. And then the initial support in bull bear zone are the larger time frame areas that can signal uh, one side taking over. So if we break below those, the sell side takes over. On the upside, if we break initial resistance and 13 to 14 half, then the buy side takes over. Uh, until then, the market is balancing in a range. So those are our main ideas. Heading into the open, let's see which way the market resolves, and we'll take it from there.